Alleged threats directed at drag queens. This Sunday, Drag Queen Storytime Kentucky is having their biggest pride event since last year, but recent threats have made them change venues. We have news reporter David Ochoa talking to the group about what they're going to do about it. Jamie Golding is the vice president of Drag Queen Storytime Kentucky. She says they had to stop doing events last year because of all the threats they were getting. Jamie Golding says Drag Queen Storytime is meant to provide a safe and accepting environment for LGBTQ kids to come and meet others like them. Right now, that is what's under fire. They have an event planned for Sunday, which will be their largest one since October. It was going to be at the Old Louisville Coffee Co-op. They were the ones who were tipped off. They got calls uh, specifically threatening their location and their, their space. Golding says many of the threats aren't as bad as some of the ones they've gotten in the past but they're still taking them seriously. The threats vary. It's, um, we'll be there, we'll protest, we'll be there and make you fear us. It just varies. It's kind of hard to get a hold of some of that information and make sure that it's vetted, but we are just taking every precaution and every measure to make sure that the families that do come are safe and we are prepared for what's to come. Governor Andy Bashir was asked about these kind of threats on Thursday. Uh, uh, calling people or writing to them, saying that you are gonna cause them harm because they're different than you. That's and my faith tells me that that's absolutely wrong. Drag Queen Storytime posted this screenshot on Facebook. It's allegedly a group chat full of, quote, pro-white activists discussing the event on the 26th. In order to keep people safe, they decided to move the event. We moved over to the No Kill Louisville Shelter Warehouse, and it's on private property. It's fully gated. They've upped security and have gotten in contact with the Parasol Patrol which is a group that shields kids at these kinds of events from protesters outside. Uh, the mission for them is just to block out all the hate and block out all the noise, and they use rainbow umbrellas. So what better way to do that and to celebrate pride than with rainbows? Holding says it's important to show the kids that they aren't going to back down. It's not going to stop LGBTQ people from existing. It's not going to stop our organization from existing. And we still want to provide that space for them to come together, make these friendships, and enjoy, enjoy drag, enjoy story time. Golding says people are more than welcome to protest outside the gates of the venue, but they'll know they'll have their own space to freely have their event. David Ochoa, Wave News.